Hi, it's me, Alan Torp, and I am back because it's Sunday, which means I'm here to make you desire even more great Scandinavian design. You could say it's my sole purpose in life to make everyone on YouTube desire Scandinavian design and only Scandinavian design. Okay, maybe that's reaching for the stars, so today I will actually look a bit beyond the Scandinavian borders for all new designs and tweet classics, all more or less inspired by and fits perfectly into the Scandinavian vibe and most certainly will elevate your home this season and beyond. As per usual, I don't care where you are or what you're doing, whether you are practicing that dirty dancing lift with your partner, knitting an ugly sweater for your dad, or I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you're doing right now, besides watching me, of course. Let's crack on with the eight things that will elevate your home this season and beyond. First, I'm going to jump the pond, and by pond, I of course mean the Atlantic Ocean because I am obsessed with Bauer Studios' arch window mirror. It's a rare moment that you actually come across good design when it comes to mirror design. In all honesty, I can only think of a few, but I'm over the moon about Brooklyn based Bauer Studios for launching this mirror. In fact, they have a ton of very commonly mirrors. The arch mirror takes inspiration from the most classic architectural element, the window. Choose the white oak version for optimal Scandi feel. Let's stay in the on the wall design section for a bit. I actually have two more for you. This one is called Seda and it is a take on the printer's typecase. I remember them from my childhood where everyone would collect small items to store in them. We all had them hanging on the wall, but now my friend Caroline started manufacturing a bigger version, which is just perfect for storing your favorite coffee cups. And speaking of coffee cups, I have a little announcement before I go any further because I have just launched a collection of handmade ceramic cups designed by me and handmade by Lena Peterson right here in Copenhagen. They come in a set of four, so you get one of each version, available only on my web shop, link down below. It would make me so very happy if you went and made your order right now. For now, I ship all over Europe, but if you live abroad, let me know and I'm sure we can work something out. Okay, the other wall design I really love is from this Swedish brand called Småland Skin Manufacture. My Swedish is so bad, I'm sorry. I love pretty much all their design and that's the honest truth. I swear on Lady Gaga and Beyonce, but their new Black Noir collection is just beyond. Beyond Beyonce. All that dark treated and matte lacquered ash is just so stunning. And the vegetable tanned leather, I mean, who wouldn't want one of these shelves hanging on the wall? The combination of leather and wood is as certain in Scandinavian design as Amen is in church. So for those dreaming of the perfect dining chair, one could be UK furniture specialist another country's new sit dining chair. There's no doubt that it has all the traditional dining chair appeal and do we really need more chairs in the world? But I really like this one. And I can only imagine how beautiful that leather seat will just patina, age gracefully and get richer in color over time. When it comes to armchairs, the same goes. Do we really need another one? And the answer is yes. 
especially when it is inspired by the Danish mid-century maestro Bo Mortensen. The Sunset Armchair is made in Japan and launched into the European market via Italian furniture masters Di Padova. The chair is part of a growing collection between the Milanese brand and Tokyo's time and style. The design update will not date. Such a beaut. So uh, I love lamps. And parenthesi, the iconic wire lamp is in my top 10 of lamps. The story of it is so encouraging and heartwarming. I just have to share it. I'll talk as fast as possible, but this story is a little bit long, so just use the timestamps to skip this part if you don't care. The story of Parentesi begins with the premature death in 1969 of young designer Pio Metsu, a very unique talent. He was the inventor of the first multi-purpose vehicle and author of immortal transport icons such as the Fiat 127. Castellino knew his work, but the two never met. Thanks to Matsu's widow, Castellino was presented with his drawings and one caught his attention. It was a slotted, light imitated cylindrical tin resting on a rod connecting ceiling and floor. Thanks to a screw, it could make a half turn and move up, down and stop. It was the original idea behind Parentesi. Cute story, right? But why am I telling you this? Well, yes, it's been produced by Floss since 1971 and celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, they are presenting it in two new color editions, turquoise and orange. I'm not quite ready to leave the 70s just yet because lately me and a whole lot of other people on Instagram has thrown their devoted attention on some 70s couch classics like the French design classic Togo. A few of the Danish brands has been quick to launch their modern updated version of those 70s couches, Nor 11 being one of them. Their studio couch is really beautiful with its ripped back and seat. Also, Hay launched a couch with a clear 70s reference with the low, legless and curvy silhouette. So I realize I'm going to end on a note where I actually don't have anything to show you. But the news is too great not to share. IKEA will be teaming up with British designer Ilse Crawford again on a collection of smart, beautiful and timeless home accessories. You most likely remember Ilse did a very sought after, some might even call it iconic collection for IKEA back in 2015. From this collection you can still get the Sinnerly pendant lamp which is cute, yes. Awful to clean, also yes. Her bench and cork table is still on high demands on sites like eBay and Craigslist. Anyway, the new range is launching this month, October 2021, with more due in 2022. So keep your eyes peeled. The last collection was incredibly popular. So that is all I have for you today. I do hope that you like all the pieces I have chosen for this video. All link down below, of course. Do you have a piece you have been eyeing for a while that you really would like to include in your home? Sound it off in the comments below. I would love to hear and it's always great to get to know you all a little bit better. And as always, I would really love it if you like this video and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I will see you all next week. Until next time.